So we are going to make the monkey bread bites right now. Um, the things that you're going to need for your equipment is you're going to need your dry measuring cups. You're going to need your measuring spoons. You're going to need a straight edge spatula. You're going to need a butter knife. Um, I kind of already pre-did this, but you're going to need a liquid measuring cup, which is this right here. And you're also going to need a metal spoon for stirring as well. Um, another thing you're going to need is your muffin tins. This is going to be, there's 12 in here. It will look like this. And then a gallon size bag. So all of your measuring today is going to be done in your gallon size bag. You don't actually need a mixing bowl at all for this. So the first thing we're going to do is heat the hub oven to 350. Um, I will do that or your teacher, whoever that is, will preheat your oven for you. And you're going to spray your muffin tins lightly with cooking spray. So I'm going to grab the cooking spray here and I'm going to lightly spray these muffin tins. So I'm kind of going to go hold it up a little bit and just lightly go over all of them like that. It's going to be maybe five seconds or less. So this is how much um, oil you need in there. Don't over spray it because between the butter and the oil, it will be too oily. And then the next direction says in a gallon size bag, uh, mix the white sugar and the cinnamon. So I'm going to take my gallon size bag. I'm going to see that I need white sugar and that I need cinnamon. So here's my white sugar and here's my cinnamon. It calls for a half a cup. So I'm going to grab my dry measuring cup and I'm going to grab my straight edge spatula. I'm going to put my measuring cup right into the sugar. I'm going to level it off and I'm going to dump it right inside of my bag. It calls for a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm going to grab my cinnamon. I'm not going to try to shake it through these holes. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually take the whole top off. I've got my teaspoon right here, which is going to be our red one. Don't grab the tablespoon. Make sure it's a teaspoon. I'm going to put it inside of the cinnamon. And as I'm pulling it out, I'm going to take my straight edge spatula and I'm going to level it off as I'm dragging it out of the container so that all that extra stuff goes right back in the container. See how I did that perfectly in a no mess? All right. I'm going to add that to the bag. I'm just going to close the bag up. Get a little bit of the air out of it. And all I'm going to do is just kind of shake it together. So now it kind of looks like brown, brown granulated sugar. So that's what it's kind of going to look like. And that's good for that part. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take my biscuits and I'm going to start breaking them apart. So everybody is going to get a, um, biscuits that look like this. And when you open these biscuits, there's the tab. You're going to start where it says kind of start here. You're going to kind of use your nail, get under there and pull that paper off. And as you pull that paper off, you're going to hear a pop. And then as it pops, you can take the rest of the paper off. And then if you just take it and you turn it, all of your biscuits will come out. You'll notice that the biscuits are separated there go. into biscuit shapes. So there should be 10 of them. Now everybody should get a chance to roll um, their own monkey bites. So every single piece should be broken into three parts. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to rip this one into one, two, three, and then I'm going to roll it into even size balls. They should all be the same size. And then I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go one, two, three, and all the way through everybody in the group will be able to roll all of their own. Now, once I've done that to all of them, I'm gonna start shaking them into the cinnamon sugar. Now, I only want you to put at most three at a time. If you put them all in here at once, they end up sticking together. So at most, just three at a time. And you're gonna close the bag up so the cinnamon sugar doesn't go everywhere. You're gonna grab it with the air in the bottom here. You're just gonna shake it so it fully coats those biscuits. So I'm gonna shake it in there. And then as I pull them out, you're gonna notice that they're now coated in cinnamon sugar. So the difference between the two, we got ones that are look more brown and ones that look more like dough. So three of these are then going to go right into the muffin tin like that. So there's three per muffin tin. So I'll do that one more time so you can just see it again. I'm gonna take three of the dough balls. I'm gonna put them into the cinnamon sugar, close the bag up, kind of have a little air down here and I'm gonna shake, 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 shake. And I'm going to take them out and then transfer them over to the muffin tin. Okay, so once I've done that, my muffin tins, there should be 10 full muffin tins. So there should be up to here. There'll be two empty ones. 
You are then going to take a half a stick of butter and a half a cup of packed brown sugar and you are going to add them together. So the first thing you want to do is measure butter. So this is how you're going to measure the butter. A stick of butter is broken up into tablespoons. So there's eight tablespoons in a half a, in a, half a cup or a full stick. So there's eight tablespoons when it calls for, a, or I'm sorry, four for a half. So one, two, three, four. I would go down here and I would make a cut at four with my butter knife and then kind of rip it. This is how much butter you guys are going to need. And then this could be for another group. What you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to put it into a liquid measuring cup. So if I was to do this, I was to unwrap the butter and I would put it into the liquid measuring cup. I would then take it over to the microwave and I would microwave it for 15 seconds. Once I have microwaved it for 15 seconds, I take it out of the microwave. I use my metal spoon and I would start stirring it. You're going to notice it's liquid, but not super liquidy. You are then going to take the metal spoon out because we talked about metal not going in the microwave. So now it's just a glass measuring cup. You're going to take it, put it back in for 10 more seconds, and then you're going to take it out and you're going to give it one more stir and that will make it melted so that it looks like this. So I've already went to the microwave and did all of that, those steps in the microwave. So you're microwaving it twice, once for 15 and then once for 10. All right. And now I need to add my brown sugar. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab my bag of brown sugar. I'm going to find my half a cup, which is right here. And I'm going to make sure that I'm packing the brown sugar down. So I put the measuring cup into the bag. I put the brown sugar over the top. And then what I do is I take my hand and I press down so that it's nice and packed in there. And I press, 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 press. In My hand is inside the bag. All right. So that now it's all packed down. And if I turn it over, it comes out and it looks like a sand castle. So it looks kind of like this. You're then going to take that. And you're going to put it in to your butter and you're going to actually stir this all together. And it's going to look like thick buttery sugar goodness. All right. So now that you have this all stirred together, if it's not liquidy enough and it's too thick, um, we can, you know, add more butter, but just call somebody over if you think that it doesn't look like that. Then you're going to take this and you're actually going to make sure it's really stirred so the butter's not floating on top. And you're going to take a spoonful of it and you're going to put it right on top of those biscuits. You're going to do the same thing and you want to make sure that you use all of it and you want to make sure that it coats the entire biscuit so that there is no dry biscuit on there. Now, once that's done, you are gonna have extra cinnamon sugar in this bag. There will be a lot of extra. So if you want to, don't over sugar them because they will that will not they'll ruin them. But if you wanna take a little bit and sprinkle a little bit on top like this on all of your biscuits, that is fine. You can do that. Then once this is all complete, you're gonna throw this the rest of this in the garbage can. We don't need this anymore. You're gonna clean up your dishes and this is going to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. This should be done by the end of the period, and you should be able to eat by the end of the period as well. There's not too much cleanup for this lab, just really your liquid measuring cup and your measuring spoons and your dry measuring cups are the only things that need to be cleaned today. So once they, we put them in the oven and we take them out, they're actually going to expand and get bigger and almost fill this whole muffin tray up. Um, and then you will be able to eat them. So that is the end of it.